He's here. Yeah. Right on. What time is it? Ah, looking at me. <laughs> uh, it is one. All right, cool. So it's recording. Yeah. Yep. It's it's going. We're live. Um, if you want, you can either hold it however you want. You can flip the camera if you want. That works. Yeah, where I can. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha. Flip the camera. There you go. Beautiful. Hi, uh, greetings, uh, friends. We are here with Ryan Stolt. And he is uh, leading the protest, that well, has organized the protest this evening. Uh, what's the main thing you want people to know? Okay, so the main thing that I would like people to know is that there is clear injustice within our justice system. I feel that there is leniency where there shouldn't be, and I feel like there's strict where there shouldn't be. So let me kind of shed some light on that. I feel that if us as people are too main in situations where police are involved and tensions are high, then at the same time a trained individual like a police officer should also be doing the same thing. Um, I also believe that all cops should be held responsible for, uh, regardless of color, race, religion, police, um, regardless of any of that, I think they should all be held accountable to the same standards as us as people. Uh, again, they're just like us, they just took the oath to protect us, um, to serve and protect. And the moment they start stepping on that, is the moment they start stepping on our rights. They start stepping on our freedom. I personally would love to see. The, the change that I would like to see started is personally, I would like to see. It's uniformity. There shouldn't be a reason that one department, police department, requires X amount of police academy training and then other departments require a different one. I think it should be uniform across the nation. And I think that it should be a lot longer than six months to a year. Um, I've seen departments that have lower than that. I've seen departments that have much higher than that. It just doesn't make much sense. Do right. you think the cost would go up then and we'd, have, we'd be paying, maybe you would be paying a bit more for better law enforcement? No, I'm not an expert when it comes to like taxes financing and things like that but in terms of doing that and making the police academy longer and uniforming that across the nation look if we're able to fork out twelve hundred dollars or more to each individual citizen then we're able to also invest money into our justice system and make sure that our law enforcement acts appropriately and is trained properly um, i think stricter screening behind police hiring should be done um, i don't think they need to adopt digging on that individual to tell whether they're fit or not for the job. Um, because we let people are paid for people that have very short temperature or attempts and they have like a short fuse and they just blow yes. up the, the just a word consent. I've seen that a little bit more. Um, I think that that shows that they're not very strict in terms of or thorough. They're not very thorough in terms of uh, Okay. I wanted to mention um, behind the camera here, Sam from the Correct Views. My dad was Mexican, Italian, Sicilian. My mom was everything white. I like to say she was so white she had to wear suntan lotion at the Christmas party. Um, you also have a biracial background. Um, you were talking yesterday on the phone about not knowing whether this was a racist attack from a cop that was against someone of a dark skin tone or whether this was something of on a power kick where maybe he was doing this to a lot of people and he just caught here. You were talking about how you were addressing the bigger picture out of how it goes. It does concern race and some issues, but it's bigger. Would you like to expand on that? So, while I do acknowledge that racism exists in America, being biracial myself, I've got a white mother and a black father, I, I do acknowledge that racism is alive and lives, and think about it, racism, slavery didn't end that long ago. Um, this is still things that we're adapting and we're kind of growing to. Um, but when it comes to that specific case, I can't really say. I can't say whether that officer did what he did out of our practice not being trained. Um, I can't say whether it was because he was racist and he didn't like him. And I also, under new reports that were surfacing, I don't know if it was a personal 
seeming as they allegedly work together in crime. Um, what, I, what I can say is it doesn't look good for that officer who has numerous complaints on similar situations. It doesn't look good for his character. Um, so with that being said, I don't think it was a malpractice thing. Um, I mean, the man was begging for his life. Yes, for a long time. Several minutes, in fact. And not one officer stood up to do anything. And that officer is in a reposition in order to make sure that that man could breathe. So to me, um, his intent was ill. I think his intent was to cause harm to that man under those circumstances. Um, so no, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't believe the narrative that they're trying to say that it was just malpractice, that it's a common mistake that officers do. It's not, it's a mistake that officers shouldn't do because they're trained. They should be trained better if that's the case. Very good. Um, I wanted to say, I know, for, uh, for instance, online, sometimes we'll post things, and it's always respectful, but sometimes we agree on points completely, other times we don't. Your movement that you're doing here in your protest seems to be bringing in people that maybe they don't agree on an abortion issue, or they don't agree on a Trump issue, but on the bigger issue of uh, peace to, uh, and uh, just decency towards one another. Do you think that that separates what you're doing from what a lot of people are doing out here? I don't. I would hope it wouldn't. Um, I would hope that people would set aside differences everywhere else to unite under one common opinion that um, police need to be held accountable for their actions. Um, and good cops, good cops need to stand up. Good cops need to say something. You guys are just as bad as we are if you're loud. If you know it's happening and you allow it, you're just as loud. So when it comes to situations like that where it's just, it's. It's sad that people allow that to cloud that. Um, there will be people that are going to be like, oh, well, you're probably a Democrat or you're probably a Republican, so I'm not going to side with you on this because yes. I see this how I see it. Even though we see this as a total and we agree, we don't agree here, so now you don't agree. I hope that that's not how this will pan out, and I don't think it will because I think most people are starting to realize that most people are starting to realize that something has to I know you've contacted uh, the Akron police, and you said that you talked to them yesterday. How was that conversation? Uh, how did? What was their uh, general demeanor? So yesterday on the page for the event that I hosted, they reached out to me. Uh, they were concerned because of how camp turned out, um, so they wanted to reach out to me as the host um, and just kind of see where I was. Mm -hmm. the thing. Um, so I gave them that. I gave them that that chance, that opportunity, and I talked to them. Um, the sergeant that I talked to, Sergeant Pulaski, uh, very understanding, very willing to help, uh, very willing to organize and make sure that this goes as peaceful as possible. Um, and did inform me that they were going to barricade the roads off. Um, they did say that they were going to barricade the roads off, so people can't take their cars and drive down the roads with intent to cause harm. Also said that they would be barricading the police department. Completely understandable with what happens in the state house, not to mention what happening, you know, everywhere else. So, um, like I said, the, the movement that I believe in is not to cause any of the people or any of these people or any of the officers. It's to simply express what we want to see as a change and also provide how we start that. All right. Well, as uh, we see, where it is kind of we see people moving in that direction. So I'm probably going to wind this down. But I do want to say, um, in closing, you mentioned before that you said it live, that you had a past that if they wanted to, they could say, you know, your motives are this or your motives are that. What would you have to say from somebody who has completely turned their life around? And I didn't know you before, but I worked with you in a security environment before where if you were going to be quote-unquote violent or thuggish, or what, you, it never, ever happened. What do you have to say to people who may think, Oh, you know, he's got this motive. Or if they in the past have made mistakes and now want to come apart, uh, come a part of something bigger and better. I would say my advice is don't be with the system. Realistically, they profit off of the prison. I mean, and they do. The government makes most of its money off of putting people in prison, uh, which is why the system is set up the way that it is. You're, you're, you're offered several deals to plead guilty before you 
Yes. Innocent. So they want you to say you're guilty rather than saying, no, I'm innocent. So they're offering you a better deal. They're like, hey, instead of 10 years, we'll give you three years. And you pay this, this is it. And then we're good. You can go on about your way. But if you didn't do it, that's not a good deal. Right? It's not a good deal. So why are you offering it? Um, what I would say is don't be with the system once you Don't react the way the media wants you to react. Um, it's, it's been shown. I mean, they're, they're cropping photos to make it race. They're cropping things to make this all about race. It's not. It's about the human race. Yes, racism lives. Racism exists. It does. But it's all racism. It's not just blacks. It's not just whites. It's not just Mexicans. It's not just Asians. Everybody Think always finds a reason to hate happened, their right? fellow man. Coronavirus happened and Asians were targeted. Right? MS-13, big gang, all that stuff happened in the Mexico border. They were telling people to shut down the Mexico border. Donald Trump was preaching all this. This is what happened. People started hating Mexico. This is, this is, it's hate in general, right? And it's fueled by the media's propaganda. And unfortunately, with that being done, there's a lot of people that will follow that narrative, and there's people that won't. So for people that have a past, you can always change that. I have a past. I was fortunate enough to be lucky to not really take any lashes through that, but I've had some close calls, and here on today, to let everyone know, like, you can't change your life. You can change your life. I've made mistakes in my life, but at the end of the day, I'm here to make mistakes. show other people that they can do the same thing. It doesn't take thousands of followers to make a difference, man. It just takes one person. All right, friends, we're going to head down to the protest. I'm probably going to film some things on my crappy camera, but I wanted to do this on a camera that was better than, you know, a pocket calculator. So thank you for listening, everyone. Uh, Ryan, awesome. We're going to, we're going to go and uh, stand up for our rights and stand up for peace among all people and all races. And I Get it. Hope, it. hope you're standing with Get us. It. If you want, you can stay on here. Okay. Stay. Yeah, yeah, I can do I can do that. That's fine. So I guess we are staying with this. That works for me. With the Black Lives Matter group, do you ever feel that uh, sometimes it's, and with some members, not all, that it's you know strictly a race issue? You know, I think it's just a trend. Personally, I think it's a trend. I think uh, it started. I don't disagree with the movement. Because black lives do matter. Yes. Um, and unfortunately, when it comes to police brutality, the statistics don't lie. Statistically, a black man is more likely to be killed by a cop than any other race. So I don't disagree. Uh, I just don't want us to be clouded on just that. Because it's bigger than just that. Yes. Because, you know, there, there are you know, our instances, I think.
standing in front of somebody to protect them or whatever like yeah exactly i'm more this i'm more this here just here as me you know We are in Akron, Ohio for the protest going on. Now, I was going to say about Mr. Floyd, but I think it's blossomed into a much bigger cause. Not that that was not important, that's not what I mean. It's encompassing a number of things. As you can see, the roads are blocked off. in all directions. Yes. Absolutely. That's important. I want to mention this on camera. Um, if media comes up to us, I will be doing my best until I have to leave to film everything so that in the event the comments would be edited, we have the entire discussion having been on record and uh, streamed live so they won't be able to edit this and imply that someone said something that they didn't. system and we're here today to expose that and we're all here to stand together 
and make sure that we all reach the same change. But the only way that we get to that is we have to set a clear narrative and a path for that change. How do we do that? We can't just keep screaming the same thing over and over. We have to actually set a course in order to follow for that change. So we need to start that today. These officers allowed us all this space up to the barricades. Let's respect their wishes as they're respecting ours. Let's not throw anything. Let's not incite any violence. And everything should be fine. Allegedly, some kids are going to be showing up. I don't want any kids to be harmed. I don't want people to be harmed. I would like it to be as smooth as possible. Anybody with ill intent, please leave now or go to another location. Uh, any, any, any questions for me before anything gets too crazy and there are too many people? Uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess this word is now whoever decides to step up. Yeah. I also have extra signs. Anybody that wants signs, go ahead and uh, pass those out. I have markers in the backpack. I also have extra water, first aid, anything that might be needed. Oh, God. I'm like a doctor. Anybody? What do you mean? There's no hate. It's, it's, it's oh. so bad. Mine looks yeah, like yeah, a yeah. seven-year-old. That's probably better than mine. <laughs> Thank you. Put markers in there, guys. Mine is barely legible. I thought it was great that you didn't even look at me. Good call, good call. Look, I know I'm not the guy. I own that. Want me there?
once again, we are at the Akron protest, if you've just tuned in. My name is Samuel DeGangi, the usual host of The Correct Views. And uh, Ryan has reached out to me to film this for him, which I have been doing diligently. And I, I wanted to be here because uh, those who follow my show, which again is separate from his, may know that I follow a lot of these issues. And uh, it's interesting to see somebody who is doing it peacefully. Everybody, let's just bow our heads right now because I believe this is a righteous cause. I believe it's important for the words that you say to be heard by the believers. It's vital and it's important. Clearly, their wishes are. Let us bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you thanking you, God, for the right to speak out. God, if this is our city, it's not perfect, but God, we know that change can happen. God, we thank you for the leadership that will be here and the people that will speak up. God, we thank you that we will not only react, but we will respond and do the work necessary to make our community a just community. And we ask that constructive progress be made today. God, that hearts be touched, that souls be lifted, that inspiration goes from the west side to the east side, from the north side to the south side, on the west side of Akron, God, and all the way to City Hall. God, we claim victory right now.
importance of working together. I don't know if it shows up, but that's a Let drone. The church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. agenda for the poor and the disenfranchised. We need a progressive agenda that says that not only are we going to protest, we're going to get out and vote. Not only are we going to vote, we're going to get out and we're going to make sure we get plugged into the education system. We get, in, we get plugged into fair housing. We get plugged into jobs. We get plugged into the larger economy. Because the opposite of justice is poverty. And it is poverty that causes the things that we're seeing in our society. Poverty is the breeding ground of the crime. Poverty is the cause of homelessness. Poverty, not being plugged into the larger economy, is what is the major social ill. And as long as we've got people who will not give other people a chance, people like us, let's say it like that, people like us a chance, the people who are on the outside, people on the fringes of high society. Everyone needs to participate in a just economy. Amen? Amen. We're not Everyone in a just economy. We're not in a just economy. They made us. That's the problem. You are absolutely right. We're stuck here. Mm -hmm. There's no outlet. Mm -hmm. They put us in these schools, they try to, you know, make sure they put these standards, these learning classes, all these uh, privileged schools, all that money that we don't have, that we can't have an opportunity to go to. That's so why. Everything you're saying, my brother, is absolutely true. Care. Let me let me address that. They don't care. It's true. What happens now in Minneapolis is that there is a national spotlight on an unjust economy. There's a national spotlight on police taking advantage of the poor, of the unprivileged. There's a national spotlight of non 
good police. And I say not good because we do have good police officers. Right, but if there's we a thousand officers and there's ten bad cops and they don't say nothing, that's we a thousand and ten bad cops. We need to create a culture where police are comfortable in seeing something and saying something. We can't and if I, they flood in our communities with drugs and opportunities that we have no well, way to the eat. Same notion, but we have to sell remember. drugs. We have to remember yeah, they're putting trade schools back in the schools. Yeah. But they not even teachers not even caring about who graduates and who does what. It takes time, and we are working with this. It's been taking time. Sure. Everybody's been four hundred years. Our people have been oppressed for four hundred years. Absolutely. Dog, Our people have been oppressed for four hundred years. Yep. And we gotta stand. We gotta fight. We gotta do it now. Okay. And we must come together. We all gotta come together. We can't sit out here and be humble. We can't sit out here and be humble. We gotta stand up and fight. We all gotta come out here and fight. And we gotta stand together. This system is unjust. Four hundred years. Our people been oppressed. We can't sit out here and play church. We not playing church anymore. They list a man outside and just made it a crime. Absolutely. How does that not process to nobody? We can't they just made it a black crime to lynch people. They just lynched a black man in the white. No just, no, 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 no peace. No just, no peace. No just, no peace. No just, no peace. How do we see we peace? Still be how do we, how do we hey, see just? If we start. If we start violence here on the streets because we of something that violence. happened somewhere else, we just hear me out, hear me out. We ain't starting violence. Hear me out. We come in we peace, wanna, love, We want to be careful with the narrative, guys. My granddad guys. got shot Re by Akron police. I understand. For I've no been victim reason. myself. That's I've been victim myself. I've been victimized so be by angry. this unjust system. Trust me. Trust me. Here if they Trust me. No I, fuck shit, so. I empathize with you. I feel you. I do. I really do. But here's the thing. We have to make sure that we're careful with the narrative, guys. We don't want people to take this energy and take it a different direction. Because these officers allowed us the space. That should show they're willing to hear us. Right? They allowed they us. Allow us to... But listen. Listen. They didn't listen to allow. Columbus. Listen what happened in Columbus. They were in the middle of the streets like we are now, and they got gassed. Doing exactly what we're doing we go, right we now. We're allowed. That's the problem. That's we're the good. Problem. We, we was, I was just, out in Canada. We need to speak about what in just needs to go. change. How do we get to that point? How do we get to that point? Retrain police officers across the nation. Yes. Investigate yeah. the police departments with high mortality We've rates. We've been doing that for yeah. years. Investigate been officers for years. before they're brought We've on been doing board. That for years. Make police academies longer. Make it harder. Make it better. And it should be universal. Not one department's academy should be less than another. We should all be uniform across the country. This divide is not what we need. That's what they want. They want us divided. We need to stand together. This is not about color. This is not about race. This is about the human race. This is about injustice. This is about corruption. This is about change. And it starts today. And we will speak. And we will talk about how we will do that. And when this day is over, everything, every single person here will be remembered. Because we're a part of that change. And we did it differently. And we're taking the road, and we will make all of our ancestors proud. We'll make everyone proud because we're not doing it the way they want us to. They're going to send the military. You think we're ready for that? Okay, so yeah. You yeah. think we're ready for the military, yeah. guys? Yeah. They're already doing it already. Okay. okay. It's a, a peaceful protest, right? Malcolm X is the opposite. Both got assassinated. They're already doing it already. Both got assassinated. Listen, they're martial law already. Listen, I understand. I understand. I understand. They will. And if they want to kill me now, then they can kill me now. But I will die for what is right. And I will die for what I believe in. And I believe this can be won differently. This can be won differently. If it causes death, if I die, if they kill me, kill me now. Do it. I'm out here. I'm the face. I hosted this. I want it peaceful. I want to be heard. What needs to happen is change, yeah. not violence. Yeah. We do not fight violence with violence. We, not come to violence. we do not fight yeah. violence with violence. We, not we do not divide each other. So we stand together, just like we are now. Yeah. All colors, all races, Absolutely. all backgrounds, Absolutely. all financial Absolutely. status, all different social Absolutely. status. Absolutely. We're all the same so here. We all believe red. believe in the George Floyd case that everybody that was standing there watching. They went to they help that man. Much, they don't have as much guilt as the cop that's sitting there and not taking no action? No, they do. Okay, no, so no, they were so guilty. Listen, they were, listen, so they were, listen, he, listen, listen, they were but it's a different guilt. Violence, the it is a they different guilt, guys. guys. The Think moment violence this. is put on me, I put that shit back. I'm here peaceful, but I need fucking change.
Thank okay? You. I took right. an oath as a U.S. That's Marine right. to the fucking Constitution. That's right. Not to this Thank fucking you. puppet. That's Not right. to this goddamn idiot. What we need to remember, guys. What we need to remember, guys. They work for us. The police work for us. They serve us. It don't seem like it. They act like it. They deserve the change. They act like it. We don't. Listen. Listen. We don't need to do this when something happens. I we need to keep doing this, past this. We don't need to do this and then stop and wait for it to happen again. We need to keep doing this, keep doing this, and keep fucking pushing until they finally give. And if they don't, then we find another reason to push harder. Let me tell you this. We can't just react to what's happening. We have to respond and proactively make something happen. We've got to get out there and vote. We got to make our voices heard. Yeah. Yes. Somebody give it to me for voting. Listen to this. Yeah. Listen, guys. Listen, listen. I want to point something out, guys. I got a better solution. Hang on. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah, Let me point something out real quick, guys. Think about this. All the bright, intelligent people we have in this country, all the smart people that we have across this country, why the fuck is Joe Biden and Donald Trump our two best candidates to run the fucking country? Because they voted by secret society. Why the fuck is it them? Because it wasn't a vote. Exactly. It wasn't a These vote. So you say vote, they vote they but they don't, they don't let us vote. They don't let us vote. Our vote don't fucking count. They vote their own people in. They and that's why we keep doing money. this. And that's why we keep doing this. Because, because the more we do this, say, the more hey, people see. Say, the more people wake up. I got a great solution. I got a great solution. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not just about the president. It's about Congress. It's about voting for local. I think every politician and law enforcement should have to take a polygraph test, white or black, if you're racist and you shouldn't be able to get hired. And that's just period. Hey, man. This is how I be. If you got any ill will against any human race, white or black, you should have to take a polygraph, and I bet you a lot of people get fired. Maybe even some of my own brothers. But I bet you a lot of people would get fired if they did that. If we can get a petition together where we all can get where, get a petition where every politician, every law enforcement has to take a polygraph test to know if they're racist. Because if that would stop a lot of it, it ain't going to nip it all in the bud, but it's going to nip some of it in the bud. We've been and, 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 Because all this yelling and vote, all that yelling and vote ain't going to do nothing. Let, let's also Who's keep in mind, guys, so how hard was it to become a cop years ago? They used to have certain height requirements, certain weight requirements, all kinds of different requirements. It was super hard to become a cop. It was like and nowadays, it's like someone can get out of elementary school, walk down to a police department, Fill out an application, go to the police academy for six months, and then come out and be a cop. I don't think that's enough time. How does six months tell you a life or death situation? How does a year tell you how to train to be accommodating for a life or death situation? Now, at the same time, I understand that these officers are putting themselves out there every day, and there's good officers amongst them. They're all. I understand that. But at the same time, I also understand that there's good people amongst these people that they call suspects. And people aren't seeing justice served. The justice is not there. And honestly, I, give, I, do, I do give some, some condolences to the officers because some of these officers have to make a split second decision that none of us could make in a whole lifetime, all right? So we have to understand that too. But at the same time, well, we, they have to know we expect what soldiers we to make split second decisions and not react. They're the ones that get a gun on pointed now. at them and aren't allowed to fire until fired on. So what makes a difference also, on this soil? Also, guys, Why are your rules? this soil also, and that let's also are keep no in mind. Different. Let's call you, let's keep in mind. First off, thank you. Tear gas, Why tear gas, right? Tear gas ban for war, right? There. Tear gas is banned to be used against terror, right? Against terrorists. Well, and domestic. But yet, but yet they can tear gas yeah. its own fucking people. Yeah. That's where I'm at, bro. Hey, how about yeah. this? How about we don't fight with each other? We don't. We ain't fighting. We out here to stand for a bigger car greater than us. It's, it's, it's us. The real that, war. Though. We want justice now. How about the real that? war is the people against this wicked ass government. Thank you. Against this su Amen. System. We want tight. We, we want tight. 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 We want change. 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 We want change.
want change. I would like one moment to give an officer the chance to speak on their behalf. I would like to hear from an officer if one would like to speak on your behalf. Yeah. Nobody? They don't want to Nobody? Not one officer. You're the machine. It's the game. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's standing still. Ain't nobody, like, don't nobody have their own peace of mind, bro. Like, you yes, it's not really emotional. Like, y'all don't care, bro. Like, if it's not affecting you personally, that's why you're sitting here quiet, bro. Right here. Hey. Hey. You know you know here, here, they care. Hey. Hey. People are here, they care. Hey. Show them that they don't care. Hey. Show them that they don't care. Hey. Show them that they don't care. People being here is why they care. People are putting themselves in jeopardy. We must stand up and fight for what's right. The real war is between the people and the system. We must stand up and fight for what's right and with unity. Standing God and standing for in one another. It's not a black. It's not about getting black and white. It's not a get about racism. We must stand up and together. Hey, I think we're not even there. We're not even there. You guys have never put the magazine on? Oh, really? Yeah, 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 you did. That's fine, I got you. Oh, in the system that we live in, like, do you believe that, like, the, there's a higher executive power that brings the word down that makes these people yeah. who are in the system? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, they don't, like, they don't want change. They're premeditating a plan that's been planned forever, right? Absolutely. I believe, Absolutely. I believe in that. Believe if we don't stand, they're going to take all our constitutional rights away. They're doing it now. As you speak. They're doing it now. They're trying to declare the HR 6-6 bill. They're trying to declare the HR 6-6 bill. Through Congress and Senate. Calculate the number. It's the mark of the beast. Are you hearing exactly what I'm telling you? They want to take all your rights away. Freedom of speech, your Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. They shouldn't just let that go. They kill me. I think it should be a goal. Yeah, that should be a goal. No more. We have to stand and fight for what's right. Stand in unity. Yeah. I was in Canton the other day. I was yesterday. Yesterday. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was in Canton yesterday, and it was a peaceful protest. A lot of people came out, and I was super excited about that, to see people come together. Then, soon after, they started spraying us with mace, tear gassing, tear gassing us to disperse the crowd. And they're going to continue to do that because we allow this wicked-ass system to do it. Yes. Think about it. If there was a room full of people in this whole street, they'd be doing that stuff right now. Think exactly. about it. And that's why I said don't nobody care. This is why. We will be doing the same thing people didn't care. And, and, and in Minnesota, I, just, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. Think it need to be I appreciate what you're doing. This we got to stand. stand. But that's the and, only and, way and we're being heard. Violence is not being the answer. Violence is not 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 the
You must talk to the police. You must talk to everybody in the community. The vital points that are being made here tonight should be heard by everybody. We've got to be part of change. Violence will never be the answer, whether it be by the police or by us. It never can be the answer. But we've got power because we're the people. We are the people. We've got the power. When you speak up, right now your leaders are hearing you. They know that status quo is not acceptable. Peaceful protest is vital. Yes. We need the most extreme voices to meet with the most easy voices. But we've got to get in this thing and work it out together. Yeah. Everybody's voice has to be heard. United Front. Everybody say United Front. 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 That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Your pastors are here not to pacify, but to get down to the nitty gritty. We need a just economy. We need people plugged in. We need the police to see every life as valuable. We need to see our police as important to our society. I need y'all to get with me on that. Because if we don't, we'll fight the police for doing what they're supposed to do. But we've got to do what we're supposed to do. We need to get plugged in to this just economy. We need to get plugged in to the wealth that's on the west side. We need to get plugged in to the power that's downtown. How do we do it? We do it through communication, letting our voice be heard. Let your voice be heard today. Is absolutely correct. Today, we all gather with the same goal, the same goal in mind. Justice, peace, equality, and what's right. The only way we can do that is if we do what's right. It's absolutely correct. Us coming out here and acting no more than them, or no better than they are, makes us just like them. We're exactly the same as what we're crucified. Today, none of us have to be here, but we're here because we want to be here. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. We're here because we want change. Yes. Yes. And that's where it starts. Yes. We, want we want change. And all of us speaking up is being seen. Look at the cameras all around. Yeah. It's being recorded. Woo. Thousands of people. We want Millions, change. maybe. We are watching want us. change. We want 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 change. First, we have to get to a point where we know what that change looks like. We have to know how do we get there. We want justice. You're absolutely right. How do we see that happen? We train our cops better. We hold them accountable. We don't pat them on the wrist and smack them and give them a paid vacation after they gun them down. We held them responsible just like we would. I am a CCW holder. Okay, I'm not carrying today because I know what it would look like. But as a CCW holder, if I was defending myself and feared for my life, I would be put in handcuffs and held until I proved my innocence. Be a dead man. Right? Black folks ain't CCW holders. We victims, right? We victims. I would be held until I am proved innocent. But isn't it supposed to be You was born guilty. You was born guilty. I ain't guilty. I'm just black. Exactly. Why can't an officer go through the same thing? Time. I'm old. I'm because tired. they went to six months of training through an academy and had to yell in their face. That's another good point. In the academy, it's treated kind of like the military. You got someone screaming at you. Why do cops lose their cool 
when a citizen is upset because they're wrongfully arrested or being wrongfully detained or they feel like their rights are being violated and then that officer has an ego power trip and flips the fuck out. I've seen it. It happened in Canton. I watched it. There was an officer in an armored vehicle down in Canton having a field day by this tear gas canister at fulfillment. And they weren't even in the streets. So there's no excuse for that. Fucking terrorists, though! So Canton PD, you're accountable for what happened last night. Okay? Akron, you guys are doing well. You guys gave us space. I appreciate that. What does sadden me is the fact that no one wants to step up and speak. This country was founded by this crowd that's upset. I mean, you don't, they don't, they don't. Care. America was founded by call. demonstrators. The don't Boston call. Tea Party, no, no, the no. Boston Massacre. Yeah. The police ain't always right. Sometimes yeah. the people are right. Yes. 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 They've been Absolutely killing black right. people. Yeah. Ain't, yeah. Nothing, yeah. ain't nothing changed. Yeah. Ain't nothing changed. They've been killing us since 1614. Yeah. And he ain't lying about that, but the one thing about it is being taught. The senior officers are teaching the younger officers how to be stereotype, stereotype individuals when they ride. You know, you, you, you pull people over for unnecessary reasons without probable cause. First of all, we need to all know the laws when they pull us over to uh, address them properly and not get intense and dress them properly. The they they have have no hold on, hold on, my brother. Hold on, hold on, my brother. I know that happens, but sometimes you have to do it. You say you just because they can't be professional, brother, don't mean we can't be professional. Say, just because they don't have professionalism, yeah. don't mean yeah. that we shouldn't have professionalism. Yeah. Just because they have been ignorant, don't mean we should have ignorance. Exactly. Just come on, my brother, let me talk. Let me talk. I know what you said, but let me talk. Like I said, when they have been ignorant, just know the laws. We got no laws, and they pull you over. You know what to say to them? Be calm and calm collective. Because the moment that you know that they pulled you over for no reason and you be intense and aggressive, but you have every right to feel that way because they pulled you over. They act ignorant and, and get them just to try to get them some type of justification to try to be aggressive, to try to search your car for, for no reason. You got a license to pull you over for no problem because, but to be truthful with you, the, the senior officers that are pleasure teach the ones that come on the force is. They all here, some of the prejudice officers out here, not all of them, but some of them all. Don't act like you're not racist. If you are, don't tell the party back that you prove that you're not. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what it is. You're taught that, taught that. Some guys might come on the force and may not be one of the stereotyping four guys are. But when you see that black guy like that, he got on braids and he's riding like that, pull him over. They're taught that. They're taught that. You got some police that's all professional. And you got, you know, and, and it always... It's not that education, man. all white people are not prejudiced, and I consistently yeah, I say that. They're just the majority of them are, and I hate, hope none of you are offended, but that's just the fact, because in 43 more years, we'll be free from slavery, 200 years, and we're still saying the first black to do this and the first black to do that. When we know we qualify, we know we qualify, but that's why we keep saying that. We don't need to continue saying that. But, but it all boils down to it that they need to take polygraph tests. All law enforcement, and all politicians, white and black. And if you can't pass the clip, says that you're racist, you shouldn't be allowed to get uh, this uh, job of a sort. All right, so I do have someone that wants to speak on their behalf. It's going to be the mayor. What's happening, mayor? First of all, I didn't give you this space. This space is yours. <laughs> Second of all, I didn't come down here to give you a fancy political speech because it's not about politics and it's not about me. It's about you. And you should be pissed off about what's going on because I am. There's a reason. There's not a single person across the country that saw what's going on and likes it. Believe me, I don't like it either. I set a very high standard for myself and for the people that work in the, in the city of Akron. And I will always keep that high standard. But here's the other thing, and I make this promise, because I've done it before. We will hold ourselves accountable. How does a young man pull the trigger on himself in the back of a cruiser while handcuffed? Let me finish there. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let him finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish first. Like I said, before I was interrupted, hold on a minute. I'm going to hold myself accountable and I'm going to hold everybody else accountable. But here's the other thing, and you may not want to hear this. You may not want to hear it, but I've always been one to tell you exactly what you need to know, not what you want to hear. you got to show up at some particular point 
Because if you don't like me and you don't like somebody else, you've got to get them out of office. Period. You have a bullshit. You do have power. You prosecutor. You do have power. You do have power. You have got to show up. Walk. Listen, I appreciate that you're down here. No, you here. don't. I am listening to you. You're trying to get us out You ain't got that shit. You're allowed to speak. Brother, brother, you're allowed to speak. This is a debate. This ain't a forum. You're allowed to speak, brother. You're allowed to speak. And I implore you. There are people here that want to protect you. We need to keep it peaceful and we need to keep it civil. I appreciate your, your voices. Went. I will listen to your voices. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck Thank that you, guy. Oh, you know he's part of the establishment. Yeah, he's gonna say what he wants to say. Do. I hope y'all don't believe this Keep shit. Keep y'all happy. Let me speak, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let him talk, man. Uh, listen, hang on, hang on, I'm not asking for violence. Let him talk. He can't talk. talk. He's yes. the yes. He never answered my question. He ran. How does a, how does a teenager Bow boy down, y'all. What they want y'all to do? Bow down. down. Improper training. That's how. No, no it ain't. Oh, it's shit. inherent oh, racism. Oh. No. Cover it's improper. Sound like my nephew. Friend, there a 40 order. 10% of the population, 50% of the penitentiary population. It's inherent. This country was built on this shit. All things that we all can agree on. 10% of the population is wrong. 50% of the incarceration. They make money off of black blood every day. It's black people like up there every day. Full. 10% of the population. 50% of incarceration. There's no way 10% of people can keep commit more crimes than the populace. We want justice. Ain't no justice in America for us. We want justice. No justice. We want 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 justice. No justice. We want justice. We want justice. We want justice. I need no justice, no peace. I need Keep begging. This country was together. built on revolution. I need everybody to Keep begging. That's what? Order that, brother. Order that. We good. Keep begging. United begging. we stand. United, United we fall. United we stand. United we fall. United we stand. To fight 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 we fall. You know that we said, divided we, we fall. fall. It's very, very important that we come together, but we're not about to cover up their lies, their agendas. It's a bunch of politics in place controlling us. Over the main years. goal, the main agenda is depopulation. Before the year 2030, they want to knock humanity down to 500 million. That's the goal, and that's what they're looking to do. We cannot sit here and be quiet. We don't want racism to divide us. We all come together as one, one in union. We must stand for what's right, and we gotta do it now. But we will not stand by the system that would look to kill us. Change the system! Burn that bitch down. Yo! Burn that bitch down. All right, listen up. I'm a very simple individual. So try to listen to me, but I understand that you may not be able to. Your anger is righteous. Everybody's angry. Everyone, we're here If you're not mad, you wouldn't be here. You have a right to be angry. Because we have been oppressed for hundreds of years, decades. Systematic racism is a fact. Right? That's a fact. However, we have to understand that they are not the enemy. The system is the enemy. Their yeah. yeah. lives matter, our lives matter. Yes. So we have to find a way to create a system that is beneficial for all of us. And yeah. what for the system, sir? Now they work with us. As, as a man was saying in training, I'm a military dad. I love America. I really do. But they are taught. Let me talk. I'm old. I ain't like you. Their lives, our lives. That's what they're taught. That's what they're preached. That is their fault. That is the system's fault. Their lives matter. Our lives matter too. Change the fucking system. You understand me?
Or do something. Pull up in October. Pull up in November. Do something when you have the ability to see shit. All your Facebook posts and share means nothing if you don't do action with that. Fuck talking. It's time for real change. Reach. Let me, let me talk. Y'all scared of me? I know. Yes. That is true. Let me talk. That is true. This is the thing, guys. This is the thing. We can't just sit here and protest when something happens. We have to keep doing this. We have to yes. keep doing this. Not yes. wait until the next time it happens. To do How it long again. do we do yes. this? That's the problem. We, we do. A lot of us sit down and we see it happen and then we do something about it, it for a little bit of time. And then we stop. A lot of us stop. A lot of us fall off because it's not directly affecting them at that time, right? Some of us continue. They want like us to people being oppressed. But we can't stop. We gotta prevent it from happening again. Not protest what already happened. We need to protest what will happen. What can happen. We need to protest a change. Keep it peaceful. I don't know what to do. It's open. You see this peaceful. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm tired of being a black man. I just wanna be a man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in unpopular opinion. And this is the thing. I hear a lot of people, let me say this. I love my white people. I'm glad y'all out here. But I feel like we are sugarcoating the words that we need to say to that's not right. offend people. Yeah, that's right. I am tired of not offending people. That's right. People need to be offended yeah, to feel that's right. what we feel. Hold people accountable. Hold people accountable for their actions. Hold people accountable for their actions. Hold people accountable for their actions. Thinking about my 14-year-old son that nobody's going to see as an honor student and won the superintendent's award. They don't see him as a young black man. Period. And I'm tired of us catering sometimes. I'm not saying tear things up. That's not what I'm saying. But sometimes, I hear you, brother, I hear you. But sometimes this, oh, we got to be politically correct. We got to stop offending. I'm offended. I'm offended when I see my black man on the street dying. I'm offended. And when you get offended and uncomfortable, Maybe that'll be the time where you do something. That's right. I thank right. y'all for being here. But your friends that make those snide racist comments, do you check them in the moment? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to ask you for it. I'm like, you know, I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. But it's time to stop offending. We need to start offending. I'm offended every time I have to come down here. Right? We move. We 
we move. Not them. They don't move us. We move us. And if we stop, guess what? We're the fuel to this fucking economy. We're the fuel to this country. If we stop, we need to see the answer. We need to see If we stop, the answer. If we don't go to fucking work, we don't pay our shit, we don't go and do our, our daily duties, just one. The country stops. They have to listen. They have to listen. And if they don't, then we match them.
across the dinner table with them. You don't want to take their book money to pay for college and university. You don't want to have them pay your rent. You don't want to have them buy your cars. You sit at the dinner table with them. And you cannot let them continue this dysfunction because what we see is just a microcosm of what's going on around the world. We Understand. Poor. Yeah. Poor. We're poor. poor. That's the only way we can eat. That's how the they only majority on this rock. But we got to live collectively and live righteously. So I'm asking, we do it in an organized fashion. We plan and work and organize, use our social media to our advantage. Yes. And we make it work. Thank you. Got a couple of people that want to speak. Obviously, right. everyone wants to talk. I have to be selective. I want to make sure this maintains safe for everybody. Everyone. There's kids here, all ages, women, men, all ages. We need to keep this peaceful. We need to keep this safe. All right. We are using lots. Everything that's been spoke, I think it's good. Everyone's getting everything off the chest. Nobody, nobody's wrong. Nothing that has been said up here is incorrect. Nothing is incorrect. All of this is correct. I wanted to speak, so I wanted to make sure you pick it up here. We're tired of being oppressed. We're tired of being oppressed. We're tired of being dying. I have a pastor that wants to speak, and I have a young lady that also would like to speak, as well as another young lady. I'm going to start with the pastor and then hand it off to the young, like, young lady. And then we're going to go from there. These two after them. So please allow the pastor to go ahead and speak. Y'all see it? We out here. AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. We out here. I want to commend those of you that are here to address what is adverse, what is inappropriate and must be dealt with in a mannerism and a focus to bring an outcome where the lives of us as humans can circulate in a mannerism of camaraderie. Tomorrow we celebrate a day called Pentecost. Yes. It is the birthday of the church yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pain is real. <coughs> Darkness, anger is real. And that is why he came because of these matters. We don't just have a racial <coughs> indiscretion, a poverty indiscretion. We don't just have an issue with sickness and disease, issues with fear. Now, I believe it goes much further than looking at one another to deal with the root of the matter. The root of the matter is not intellectual. It is not carnal. It's not physical. The root of the matter is spiritual. Amen. Amen. We don't have issues necessarily with one another. We got a sin problem. That's right. Amen. And until you deal with the root, you don't change the fruit. Yeah. And the root of the seed of the word of God has been brought to bring us life from the inside out. In order to be effective publicly, I must be effective privately in my family, at home, and in close matters around my life. Yes. But that only starts by me being effective personally. We all need a personal relationship with our Redeemer. Because you don't deal with issues in the mannerism that we're dealing with at the level as such. You don't bring change through conventional methods. When you have adverse issues that are non-conventional, you need that which is over, above, and beyond what is human to deal with the root of the matter. Therefore, we've been given a name, and his name is Jesus. Jesus' name is also Sikainu Tiskanu. He is the root of righteousness. He is the root of justice. When you call on his name, you circulate justice. You dismantle powers that you cannot see. 
You render an opera tale, the circulation of activity that never gets to the root, and you bring change from the inside out. You must be able to penetrate walls that you can't go behind, penetrate minds that you can't invade. You have a Lord, a Redeemer that you can call on. And how many times Historical change has been brought by divine intervening of God. It's not necessarily been brought by the intellect or the wisdom of men. But I believe that he names himself by to be effective for us in redemption. His name is Rapha. That means he's a healer. He took every disease to the cross. Every pain to the cross. All agony to the cross. And when you call on his name in faith, he will meet you where you are and bring you what you need for the inside out. God wants you to know that you can live 365, 24-7 with a relationship with him that will penetrate or it will resist and retard darkness that endeavors to invade your life and bring disruption, bring confusion. But he came to bring us life and bring it more abundantly. When we as a nation call on the name of the Lord, we level all classifications of dispensation of you know, and bring a system of equality that can only be engineered by God. Because man did not create man, so therefore man can't fix man. Bro, they don't like me. You speak the truth. They don't like it though. Nobody wants this truth. You're never going to get rid of, you're not going to get rid of sin. You're not going to get rid of darkness until you get rid of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. And when you learn them and implement them, you will benefit by them. Did Listen. George Floyd call on God to save his life? We did it with him. 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 We did it with We've been praying. 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 God ain't no savior. She started pissing off. I'm going to get this started off. Fuck him. Martin Luther King walked. You're still dying. But fuck him. Walk just died. I'm shaking in my boots right now because I'm terrified about what my future looks like because I'm standing up here. But I can't imagine what it's like to be a person of color in this country. We're scared for the life every day just because of the color of their skin. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Don't leave it. These targeted people who are trying to live their life. And I see, I see you all up here looking at me, and I know that I'm putting myself at risk right now, and I see these people. Yeah, baby, you know, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, you know, yeah, 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 on March 29, 2020, those are those 45 officers who go on the streets on June 1st. They're going on June 1st. Those 45 police officers. Which side will you take? Will you be on the side of the people who are protecting and serving the people, or will you be on the side that is putting these on next?
us. If they're here to protect and serve us, why the fuck do they hide from us? Because we're praying. We're praying. We're praying. Why, why would a good cop see a bad cop acting out of line? You look at the state, you say, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. We need to be organized. We need to be. 
smart to not rap. This is your work to and plan and figure out how we cause this change. If we go crazy and we act like animals, they're already organized. They're on building rooftops. They're everywhere. We ready to. They're already all organized. They're ready to start if we start. So let's not start. Let him talk. Let him talk. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Let him talk. I know. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. Let's use our logic. Let's not play on our emotions. I know it hurt. We got to use logic. We're dealing with evil. Systematic evil for generations. There's no, you cannot ask. You cannot beg. You cannot. Write a letter to evil and ask it to change. We all are the oppressed people. It's people. We all we gotta we gotta unite. We gotta come together. We gotta make concerned action. Period. Some people talking about vote. I say don't play into that system. That's right. I say let's use our other political capital we got. Hear me out. I say let's use. People want to talk to politics. I said we got another political capital we could use. Money. Money. If y'all want to go to politics, bro, it's, 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 I feel all that. Honestly, that's the politic way. I'm, I'm thinking this whole system needs to get out. The whole system. I feel the whole system, the whole government, it needs to be a change. It doesn't represent you. It doesn't represent none of us. Thank you, he's absolutely right. We do have to fight. But we have to fight with a clear mind. We have to be smart. We can't be rash. We can't do like Minneapolis. They just went crazy. We can't do that. We love the city. We help bring the city up. So why are we going to burn it down? What do we do? Over what, they do. what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We stand together like we are now. We do it every fucking day. And we do it every fucking day. And we migrate. And we move. And we go to other places. We go to the White House. We go to Congress. We go to all these departments. And we get hurt. And if not, if that doesn't work, then we find a new option. Then we find a new option. But we need to be smart. It's time for the new option. We can't just stand anymore. We got someone with Akron Hip Hop that wants to speak as well as another lady that wants to speak as a young man that wants to speak. There's a lot of people that want to speak, so I want to keep this quick. I want everybody to be able to get their words out. So let's just try to keep this moving. Hey, for real, for real. Y'all talking, y'all talking sweet, but all the extra stuff, I don't know. Hey, everybody, I want to say my name because I'm going to tell how Akron Police your hands are not clean. Not at all. At all. Not, at all. Okay. not clean at all. Not at all. I was raped. And the man that raped me admitted that he raped me, but they did nothing. Instead, they went to my school, asked people, do you know Ebony Harris to be promiscuous? Do you know Ebony Harris to be a whore? Yeah. They went to my church and told, asked people the same question. I didn't tell people at my church. And not only that, a few months, a, a few years ago, after the rape, when I was still trying to get justice for my rape, even though they told me it was past the statute of limitations, even though Bill Cosby is in jail right now, past the statute of limitations.
sign that paper. I did two male police officers, one white, one Chinese. Nothing happened. You're still laughing. You're still laughing. They're 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 still laughing. Your hands are not clean, motherfuckers. Not at all. If you have a camera, photograph the face of a cop that you see laughing. That cop right there! If you have a camera, you are obligated! We need to use our black words. We need to use all the tools given to us that are also used to distract us and divide us. No, we need an we audience need to that use listen. that. They need to hear our course of action. They don't care. The man that raped me didn't go to jail one day. We need to unify. We need to come together. We don't need to see color. We don't need to see any of that. We don't need to see religion. We don't need to see any of that. Religion was made up by man just like everything else. Do you think God created religion? No, of course not. Of course not. Did God create color? Hell no. He created people unique to their own kind. Unique. Everyone's different, right? Everyone's allowed to be different. We all look different. We're all from different backgrounds, different society, different social status, different parts of the world. Some of us migrated here from other countries. People come here because this is the land of the free. And why the fuck does it feel like we're being jailed every damn day? I just want to also point something out, guys. It's no coincidence that all this is taking place all around the same time. It's no coincidence that we all have been locked up inside our fucking homes, stuck to our damn screens, being brainwashed by the fucking media bullshit. While I sit here and understand that the coronavirus is a real thing, it's a virus, the response is bullshit. The response is bullshit. I've done no different in my daily life. And I have not met one single person in my life, nor myself, with coronavirus. While I understand that the virus is real, the numbers are fraudulent. The numbers are fake. It's a fucking bullshit world to keep us all inside and in the fucking dark. This is bigger than that. This is not about George Floyd, guys. We gotta come back together. We gotta come back together. This is, this is about protesting the future of our people. This is about preventing this happening to someone else. This is to prevent it. We can't change what has already happened. This is to prevent it from happening again. We can't just keep protesting when things happen. We need to be proactive. Hey, hey. I'm gonna be real too. You talking about coronavirus? They ain't got nothing to do with this. It has everything. No, it don't. Coronavirus ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. Listen, don't, bro. Coronavirus ain't got nothing to do with this. Listen, this is exactly what the what they want. Do you see this? This is exactly what they want. Hey, man, you talking about coronavirus? You talking about coronavirus? What the hell they got to do with anything, bro? Come on, bro. I understand, bro. He's talking, talking about the wrong stuff. He's saying they want us locked up for it. We want justice. We're all here for the same cause. Injustice. You talking about the wrong stuff, bro? And laughing about it shows that there is injustice. So we want change. We want change. I say we should start marching. Let's go. I say we should start marching. Start marching. We march. We march. No, we marching. We march. We ain't fucking staying in one area. We need to march. We need to march. They can't fucking shoot me. This is our first amendment. We're gonna march. It's a full war. We cannot shoot us. We cannot shoot us. We need to march. We need to march. We need to march. We want change. We want change. I'm with him. I have to stay with him. We want change. 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 We want change.
want to We want to We want to exchange. We want to change. 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 No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! Hey Ryan, your phone's almost dead, dude. You're not gonna, I'm gonna, you want to stop it or you're not gonna have any juice yeah. for later? Yeah, um, you run back and grab my bag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you going? Next to 